Hello, I'm Tom Cheney, Senior Editor of Photovoltaics International. We're here at the SNEC 2011 show in Shanghai, China. I'm here with Carl Gruber, who is CEO of Lysec, the world's leading glass process equipment manufacturer. Carl, can you tell us a little bit about the company and your role in solar PV and CSP? Hello, Tom. It's a Hello. real pleasure to give you some statements. I am, first of all, really impressed by the solar industry and on the fair where we are here now in Shanghai. And uh, I believe that in future, the solar energy is playing a major role. So also Lysec is a leading company in the glass processing machinery equipment supplier. We have were dedicated also in our research and development to the uh, solar technique which means we were focused to scene glass technology and have developed a special tempering system for thin glasses as well as an entire line for a PV module encapsulation. And today on the fair we show a nice module, glass to glass, which gives you really a good impression and this uh, system has a lot of advantages. So I hope that uh, what we have done so far is really uh, joining and contributing to the solar market. So in this respect, I'm really hopeful. And we see, I think, a bright future. I'm here with Richard Bruckner and Johann Weichselberger, who both play key roles in project management and R&D at Lysec. Johann, can you uh, tell me a little bit about the history of the company and the history of its involvement in the solar industry? Okay, so Lysec is actually celebrating its 50th anniversary in involvement in the glass industry. And since uh, then, uh, one of the leading companies in, in glass processing equipment. And in the last years, we have done a lot of uh, investigations into uh, tempering of, of thin glass, thinner glass, because uh, high quality tempered thin glass was not available. So we did a lot of investigation and in invented and introduced new equipment. And based on this, we came into the applications in, in, in solar industry where thin glass can uh, increase the efficiency of, of PV modules. We have a, a big knowledge in the glass processing, so we know the glass handling and all this stuff. And I think this gives us um, a lot of um, advantages also in the solar business, because we know how to handle, how to, to fix the glass. We used our experience also from the insulating glass, that means the encapsulation, uh, the, the sealant materials. And for that reason, I think uh, especially uh, if you go thinner from the glass thickness and use a back sheet also as a glass, uh, you will have, uh, I would say, really good improvements uh, on, the, on the quality and also of the lifetime expectancy of the, of the modules. Now your company is both a supplier of equipment and also of turnkey assembly lines for making solar modules. Can you tell us a little bit about the turnkey business? Our aim is, is to be a, a turnkey solution provider. So for the customer being one face to the customer, taking overall responsibility for the line. It's from glass processing, from sealing, from uh, a wafer layup, encapsulation, and, and final testing. This is the aim, to take overall responsibility and provide a turnkey solution for our customers in this uh, sophisticated field. For what kind of customers do you think the turnkey solution is most ideal? Uh, it's ideal. It's, it's for newcomers, for startups, as well as, as uh, I would say, the big players already in the market. Because, uh, as mentioned, one face to the customer taking overall responsibility is the main issue to keep uh, the, the, the uh, uptime and efficiency of, of a module line is, is a key. In terms of costs, we need to bring down the costs and having a, a playing and, and a responsible role. Now Richard, in the other part of the business, you make a, an industry-leading flatbed tempering oven. 
Um, tell me about your relationship with the glass companies and how uh, closely you work when you supply your equipment to them. Yeah, the, the glass processors are our main customers in the past, so we have a very good relationship to them. We know their requirements, and for that reason we try to uh, develop also the machine for their needs. Especially the tempering furnace is uh, ideal for thin glass, that means uh, going thinner than 2 mm. And for that reason uh, it, it fits perfectly for trip light sheet units, which, which was our past business and also for future business uh, like the solar industry. What are your customers in the glass industry telling you uh, they need in terms of current and future requirements for solar glass? Thin, anti-reflective, tempered, perfectly uh, flat glasses. That's the main, the main idea. And cheap. And cheap, of course. Cost is always important when it comes to solar manufacturing. Now, you mentioned anti-reflective. I understand that you are working on uh, some new anti-reflective coating technology. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, this is um, the next step in our development. Will be um, an anti-reflective coating directly before our tempering furnace, because these two processes fit perfectly together uh, to make the, the coating stable. Uh, but this is at the moment under development, and so to respect our, our IPs and also from our partner companies, it's a bit too early to talk about in detail, but it will come soon. I understand, though, you expect a certain amount of uh, improvement in the performance of the module just from the anti-reflective coating. What are you thinking it's going to uh, uh, end up being in terms of that improvement? I think uh, the improvement, what we can reach with the anti-reflective, uh, will be that we get uh, less reflection from 1 to 2%. So really, for a very low-cost solution, you're offering a significant improvement in performance for the module. Exactly. This is our main target. There's a wonderful example of a glass-glass module at the corner of your booth. It's uh, about almost uh, two stories tall and has many uh, silicon cells in it, and it's quite impressive. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what your customers are asking for when it comes to glass-glass modules? So the, the basic idea of glass-glass modules is uh, of uh, course, increase the lifetime of, a, of the module because we do a, a hermetic seal. So we, we are sure that the lifetime of the modules can be much longer than the, the guarantees are out today. Uh, it, will, it has much less weight. So we're using a two millimeter tempered front and back glass. So uh, using much less energy in producing the glass, in producing the overall module, it, it is a frameless module, so we save again a lot of energy and weight by avoiding the aluminum frame and providing a higher degree of freedom to, to mount these modules to rooftops, to wherever you want. So it can be, a, a, or it will be definitely a nice feature for architects for uh, build it, building integrated PV modules with a lot of uh, higher degree of freedom. So we are open to any back rail solution by simply gluing a back rail onto the glass and it uh, is a, a proven technology for centuries already so this will give a, a, a big step forward for module integration into, into uh, architectural purposes. And certainly you, um, you're able to leverage a lot of your expertise from your experience in the glass field into solar and this is a good example. The other thing that's rather interesting at your booth is a tool that is bending glass and for some people they may not realize at first that it is glass that is being bent because it looks like something that might be a polymer but it is in fact a very thin bendable flexible glass so if you could uh, maybe Richard you can talk a little bit about that uh, particular um, uh, product material and uh, some of the things that that uh, will bring to the solar market yeah, the key factor of this uh, possibility to bend the glasses is our tempering furnace. That means we can increase the strength of the glass up to three times. We can guarantee a bending tension of 120 Newton per square millimeter also for two millimeter glasses. And according to this bending tension, it's possible to, I would say, shape these glasses uh, also in a, in, a, in, in a very nice way. It's a, more or less an ideal spring glass because uh, you will have not an, uh, a plastic deformation it's always going back into the, the same position. And uh, for the solar market, 
uh, it opens, um, I would say, a lot of possibility also for building integration. If you just uh, take a look at all these nice houses here in Shanghai and uh, anywhere else, you will have a lot of uh, uh, curtain walls, maybe banded glasses. If you can do this um, with a solar module and bend it in a, in a cold way, not warm banded, like it is done usually now, uh, I would think there is uh, still some uh, cost reduction possible and also uh, just to give the, the, the modules a nice uh, optic. The vision is what Richard already mentioned. is, is uh, PV is one uh, application, PV modules for this uh, thin glass, but there's also thermal solar applications. And uh, we are actually introducing, approaching a new uh, way with, with cold bent mirrors for the CSP application. What is another? 50% of the solar business and uh, this has a huge potential for us as well to, to introduce this uh, thin uh, temperature strengthened glass and you can with cold bent glass we mean you have a, a, from the logistics point of view all transportation can be flat and just at the point of use you bend it to the shape you need it and this is a, 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 a huge potential in this aspect as well. So not only do you have uh, target markets in the photovoltaic sector, but in the concentrator solar power area, the thermal area, uh, for the big solar projects planned in the United States, Southern Europe, North Africa, and elsewhere. Exactly, yeah, that's, that's the aim. So we, we not only feel we know that the solar uh, boom is, is just the beginning, and this is also why we're here in China, where we know that 50% of the uh, world glass market is going on and it looks like that they even on the solar market can can uh, reach a similar percentage and we are uh, ready to serve the solar uh, business the solar markets with the right products at the right time